Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a timer animation in Figma. So this was actually a query in one of our previous videos. And here I'm with a video on this. So as you can see, I have a couple of interactive components and then we have our screens here. So let's see how this works. I hit on the preview button here and here we have our prototype loaded up. So as you can see on the left, we have two different flows and flows is a new feature that recently got added in Figma and it's really cool. So we have two flows here. One is with animation and one is without animation. So let's see what are those. So I click on the start button here and as you can see the seconds started to animate and the seconds are moving right and uh, let's see the next second on 10 there you go so that is the kind of animation that we're going to do here and I can also hit on the reset button and it starts over again or I can just hit on stop without animation is quite straightforward so if you can see this it's just the digits changing right so you don't have that animation so this is what we're going to create today and uh, let's get started. So as you can see here, this is the demo file, but we're going to start from the scratch. Uh, so let's take a new file here. So first thing I'll take a frame, maybe iPhone 8. Let's uh, try to understand the timing pattern, right? So let's say this is the timer, right? So this one is the units place and this one is the tenths place of the seconds and this is the minute, right? So how this basically works is on the units place, you basically have zero to nine. And when it comes to the tenths place, you would just have 60 seconds right so the digits we're going to use here are only from 0 to 6 and we are basically going to use uh, each of these digits separately so let me go to the file here so you can see that each of these digits are basically different interactive components and these are different variants right so this is the easiest way to do it but a quick disclaimer here that this is not going to work exactly like a real standard timer because we are going to use animations like delay and then the animation duration so you might find a bit of difference in the real timer and this this is just to showcase it to your clients or to your developers. So that is the whole idea. But let's see how we can uh, create this easily by breaking down each of the digits into different interactive components. So what I mean by that is we are going to use this as a separate digit, this as a separate digit and this one as a separate digit. So the first one is going to have one, two, three. So basically this is the units digit. And at any point of time, you just want one digit to be visible. And how are we going to achieve that is by using a mask. So I'm going to just uh, draw in a box like this which covers the digit just send it to the back just select both these and hit on use as mask so once you do that the rest of the digits gets hidden behind the mask so now we have just this part here right so this is going to be the base layer for each of the components that we see here right so this is the base layer that we're going to use to create each and every digit right so change this one into a component so how are we going to do that just right click and you have the option to create as component or just use a shortcut right here so now this is a component and now we have to create variants out of it. How are you going to do that? You have the option of adding variants here. Just click on the plus button here and you have a variant added. Now in the next variant, what I'm going to do is change the digit to one. So simply select the digits inside this. So you can see here, there's a variant two, and I've selected the digits. Just move it to the top, right? I'm using shift and the up arrow key so that it comes up. See that you're aligning it to the center of this box right here. Okay. So now we have zero and one. Just repeat this for the next one as well. So I'll click on the plus button here, which will duplicate a variant or you can just use command D or control D and I'm just doing the same thing right here. I'm bringing the digit onto the center right like this and just repeat this. I'm just going to fast forward this part right here. So there you go. I have done creating this. So zero to zero and this last zero is actually not needed, but uh, we're going to use this because of the animation motion. It has to go from bottom to the top, right? You'll understand that when you are prototyping this one. So once this is done, uh, let's go ahead and prototype this and see how this is going to work. I'm going to prototype tab right here and we're going to link each of this to the next one, right? So this one is linked to the next one and this is going to happen with a delay. You want the timer to move on its own. So for that, we're going to use a after delay and it's one millisecond right so what we can do here is uh, set the delay to you know something like 750 so after a delay of 750 you want to basically uh, use smart animate and this should happen in 300 milliseconds or you can keep it at 250 so both together 750 plus 250 milliseconds is 1000 milliseconds which is basically one second and we're going to repeat this for all of these right the same settings won't get applied you need to apply this so uh, best way to do it is first link up everything to the next one 
and finally i'm just going to select everything and now we can basically set it at once right otherwise you have to keep setting the properties for each and every variance while you're linking it up but this way it's pretty easy so i'll click on the tab and i'll make this as after delay same settings so let's leave it at 750 milliseconds and 250 so as you can see we just have a common interaction right here which is delay and when you come to zero right you don't want this to move to this zero with a smart animate because that would uh, you know ruin the animation so what has to happen here is from here back to this one it has to just happen within a fraction of a second so it's going to be after delay and this is going to be one millisecond and this is going to be instant you won't see that jerk when the animation happens from this one back to this because it has to be in a loop right so once it goes to 10 seconds again it has to start back here so let's quickly put this onto the frame and see how this works and then we'll continue creating the rest of the digits so i'm just putting it on the center of the screen right here and let's preview this so the prototype is loaded up and as you can see uh, the animation is working pretty good so let's let it go to the ninth second and we are on zero and as you can see there was no delay or jerk right after it went to 10 seconds it will easily move on to the 11th second so that is done and now let's move on to the next one which is the tenth place so i'll just duplicate this interactive component and in this case we just need it till six right so we can delete all of the rest here this one would be linked back to zero Okay, we got to change something right here, right? Because after 10 seconds only, you have the next 10th place being changed. So what I mean by that is only after the initial zero to 10 seconds happening, then only the 11 comes into picture. What is the time delay there? It is 10 seconds, right? So all these digits right here have to happen after a delay of 10 seconds, which is 10,000 milliseconds. We are not going to keep 10,000 milliseconds here because we want the animation also to happen. I'm going to leave this at 9,500, right? So two 50 milliseconds is for the animation to happen so altogether it is 10 seconds which is 10,000 milliseconds this one is also ready so all you got to do is select the first variant here I'm just going to use option or alt and drag a digit from there to this position right here so now we have uh, the seconds done so let's see how this behaves so this is a prototype and the seconds of the units place is moving well and after nine seconds there you go you get that right so after every uh, 10 seconds then only this one starts to move so that is the whole uh, intention of using the tens and units place separately and then we'll again duplicate this and in this case it will move only after one minute so how we can do that i'll just uh, switch to design mode right here and i'm going to delete till this part right here and i'm going to show you how we can do it with this so first thing i'm just going to move these two variants to the bottom because once you go to prototype right if you go to delay and if you try to set a one minute of a delay which is actually one lakh milliseconds so if i try to give one lakh it doesn't take one lakh right so twenty thousand milliseconds or 20 seconds is the max delay that we can enter on the delay part so to work around with this what we're gonna do is we are gonna use that 20 seconds for multiple times so 20 seconds for three times is basically one minute right so 20 plus 20 plus 20 is again 60 seconds and that is actually equal to one minute so what we're gonna do is just duplicate this three times so if you can see here i have three zeros here and then the one is going to enter into the picture okay and again same thing here one for three times and then two so we're going to link the first variant to the next variant that is again showing zero so this would happen after a delay of 20,000 milliseconds that is actually 20 seconds and with an animation and again this one to this which is again 20,000 milliseconds so now as you can see this is 20 this is 20 and after the next 20 right it's actually one minute so once I link this one to this one and give it as 20 20,000 so now basically what happens is zero turns to one only after one minute why is that so because from here to here it's 20 seconds from here to here it's 20 which is 40 now and from here to here it's again 20 so 40 plus 20 it is 60 so zero turns to one only after 60 seconds which is actually one minute so it's again simple just bring a duplicate of this right here and this is going to be a minute and all you got to add here is a new text with a semicolon which represents the divider between the these two that's it and just group this into one and here you have your timer all set so if i go to the prototype you can see that this is going to work 
and you have to wait for one minute this to, for this to change. So we are not going to wait till then. But uh, let's move on to the file right here and show you what I have done here. So on the frame part, right? So these are just variants or the interactive component. So this is the zero second, this is the 10 second, and this is the minute. And these are just uh, linked up to different things right here. If I go to prototype tab, you can see that the start is linked to this one. So if this one is just a dummy page, right? So this is where the, the prototype basically starts. And these are dummy numbers. You can see that this is just text and not any interactive components. So only once you click on start, it goes to the actual page where we have the actual interactive components, which basically starts to move. You have the stop, which again is linked to the initial dummy frame. And that's how we created the whole thing, right? Since you watched this video till this part right here, I'm going to give you a small tip, which is going to be really interesting, right? Uh, this timer is basically to show on your prototype, but let's say you're interacting or collaborating within Figma and you want a timer. Let's say there are multiple people people working with you and you have given basically a task to them. So what you can do is uh, just put in a text like this, right? This is going to be the minutes and then we have the seconds. So let's say five minutes, I want a particular task to be completed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a text like this, which is again for five minutes and I'm just going to place it like this, right? And then you basically have to install a plugin called as timer. So I've already installed it and you can see that it's here. So once you have this uh, timer plugin installed, it's going to be just just a small window. So this can be anything, right? You can put it for 15 minutes, whatever you want, even hours can be added and just click on start. And you can see that the timer works and everyone collaborating with you will be able to see this timer and you can increase the size or anything. So you can see that it keeps changing, right? So the people working with you can uh, do multiple tasks and they can see the timer when it's going to end. So that's uh, a quick tip and I really love this plugin. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you found this informative and helpful and thanks for watching.